Welcome back to the 14A Sports Radio Show. Bum, 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 bum. Ooh, a little delay. Sports Day Sports Radio Show brought to you by Big ooh, Apple Sports Bows, Wings, Pizza, the whole shebang. You're welcome hey, for delivery, 201-858-1075. I'm going to shoot you and claim self-defense. <laughs> guess, guess who said that? I'll get away with it because I'm white. Is that less funnier now because that just happened in Tampa? <laughs> Did that, what do you mean? A cop shot somebody in the uh, in the movie theater for uh, for texting inside a movie theater. He and then, shot him? And then the guy threw popcorn at him and then the guy shot him. The guy is ex-cop. And then he claimed self-defense because he made a violent act at him or something like that. We'll bring it up in a little bit because... I don't, uh, I don't know about all that. You know. No, that's uh, going on. I was just joking. I'm not actually going to kill him. Well, oh, uh, oh so you, you were just joking incognito style? Yeah. How about one, two, three, four, go fuck yourself! <laughs> <laughs> if, uh... You Richie know, Cognito is awesome. If, if you're thinking that Mully's being a little, uh, little more Mully now than ever, <laughs> it's because he's actually reading the text of Richie Martin. Uh, uh, no, Jonathan Martin and Richie Incognito. Wait, and this is just some gold right here. You know, I mean, you got uh, just, you know, classic lines I think we're going to have to follow up on, you know, day in, day out in our lives. I mean, there's just great material like, that like we could use. Like a line use. like at Anchorman or something like these that? Lines, just like, yeah, uh, these lines will be recycled. Like, for instance, I'm sorry. I have puss swinging from my nuts. <laughs> I mean, that's great. How about John DeMartin uh, describing describing his uh, his uh, lady friend? And he said, um, oh, fuck, I just had it. Uh, she was terrible at blowjobs, but I still busted all over. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. The funniest part about the text is that it makes Richie Incognito actually look like... He's a stud! Yeah, and I've been saying this the whole time. I mean, the guy held team meetings at strip clubs. There's... You know, that's the kind of guy I want on my team. If I'm a quarterback, that's who I want protecting me. Because I want to have True meetings at, at strip clubs. True story. Oh, he, dude, Richie Incognito, he's hilarious. He's absolutely hilarious. And you're absolutely right, Walsh. All the all the uh, the uh, animosity and negative attention that was, that was uh, you know, put in his direction is absolutely unwarranted. Dude, these guys are, you know... Uh, uh, late 20, er, you know, actually, John Martin's a little bit younger, but Richard yeah. Cognito's, you know, uh, late 20s, early 30s. He's a rich dude. He's an NFL star. And, you know, he, all he's going to do is, is have a good time and bag chicks. So, really, who could fold him for that? That's what, yeah. no, I, and I think I see where, I think I see what happened here over the whole scope. You know, Did he get Dr. A girlfriend? Dr. Walsh? <laughs> Dr. Al here. We don't, we don't need to break down, you know, I mean, we're going to break down all the text messages, but let me just fast forward to the end here. This is what I think happened. You see it all throughout the, the text messaging right there that, you know, Incognito is always inviting Martin out. Martin's always got something lame to do instead. You know, he's out with his Stanford alums. He's out with his parents. He's resting home with the dog. He's doing all that shit, Meanwhile, right? Meanwhile, Incognito's getting the hand jobs yeah. that makes his weenie <laughs> shake. <laughs> <laughs> He's got puss swinging from his nuts. But, you know, I think, you know, you kind of see here that this is probably the beginning of it, you know? And it's kind of funny because it happens so many times. In, well, in, it's, in, it's almost in a whole exchange. year of text, right? It starts, like, in the end of 2012 and it goes up to October 13th. Yeah. These guys, like, they, they seem like best friends. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. At least somebody that Incognito You're is like. You're my best friend. <laughs> We're the three best friends that anyone <laughs> could have. Anyone could have. Oh no, I yeah. It, that Incognito trying to take him under his wing. Right? Almost yeah. Like hey, come out. We're going here. Or, like yeah. Even there were sometimes Martin's like, oh yeah, you're gonna meet us up here. We're going this place or you know I'm going yep. here. And then you know it seems like just you know out of nowhere something happened where. I don't know how Incognito got named or how he was the person that came out of this as the bad guy, but well, here here's what it is, and, and I go. I'm thinking like Martin got a girlfriend or somebody saw this and were like, "Do you talk to people like this or something <laughs> like that?" Right? So, like <laughs> some happened, and and Martin like snapped, right? Yeah. Whatever whatever the reason was, and I I take it back to grammar school, right? When anything bad happens. In grammar school, you have like the two or three kids yeah, that, that everybody they're always knows. involved in a mix, right? So if anything goes wrong, they're getting the like, blame. It was like you know? Richie and the guys yeah. or something like they're, that. They're getting yeah. called to, you know, Sister Gaddios' office. Richard, get in the <laughs> office right now. Walsh well, well, knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> and so, like, they're like the quote unquote bad guys, or like they're yeah. like the, the guys that, like, force people to do bad or the bad influences more accurately. But they're the bad influences. And, and Incognito just caught up, got caught up in, in, and Martin snapping because who knows why, and 
you know, he's just a normal dude, but was one of those, quote, yeah, bad I mean, influences. Like, honestly, you couldn't put half the stuff that he said on, you know, you can't say, you know, ESPN you can can't say go it on our there. show. ESPN can't go out there and be like, oh, Richie Tavino you know, is a regular guy because then they would look like they promote half the stuff that he said. But, yeah, I mean, the, for the most the, the majority of the text, you say, like, oh, these are probably just two friends that, you know, are comfortable enough with each other that can, they can make fun of their races or, you know, that, you know, the one guy you know, was you could, gay. You, you could refer— you could bu- you, you bust the chops. You can refer to his sibling as your squirting sister. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, it wasn't <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, it was just, just like, like what? Cole is laughing. I don't like Richie Incognito. I don't but like him. I think he the seems most mean. part of Incognito was right at the end when, like, it seems like they haven't texted in a couple days. He's like, yo, dude, you're right. And that must have been right. when Martin first left the team. And he's like, you doing okay? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and then, like, yeah. Martin kind of comes back. He's like, oh, yeah, don't worry. I never said anything. But then Incon News is like, yo, I'm catching fire from the media. Yeah. You need to respond back, whatever. And then that's when it all cuts off. I think it's funny because he's like. But he is, like, does seem concerned to him. And maybe he's like, oh, you know, just making sure you're okay, blah, mm-hmm. blah, blah. So, you mm-hmm. know, obviously Incon is one of those guys, like, yeah, he's going to bust your chops all day, but he's still there for you. He's still looking he's out for you. He's your guy. You know, yeah. it, it's. And that's what I was trying to speak to earlier, you know, like at the end there where, you know, Incognito really just, you know, trying to console him and everything. There was definitely a prank that happened on him. It's ex- it's definitely what happened, and he probably just flipped the fuck out. Like, whether it was at a club or in the locker room, he definitely just stormed off somewhere. And, you know, because that's the whole thing that you see in the text messages. Like, I guess they hadn't texted in five days where he's like, all right, I'm getting in the cab, man. And he just says, oh, you okay? You okay? You know, text me back. I'm, I'm here if you ever need to talk. I've gone through enough shit myself to understand. So yeah, he so definitely, that he definitely that. just got like the meanest prank ever on him, and probably just <laughs> you guys are assholes. And just yeah, so I, you know, you know, I think you know, like Boomer, Boomer size and said this morning, like, listen, it's not a bunch of Boy Scouts here. It's a freaking NFL football team. Absolutely. You need some bad guys on your team. You need some guys that, with toughness that are going to set the tone for the rest of your team and. Incognito was probably one of the more of the team leaders that was trying to take Martin, a younger guy, under his wing that maybe was, maybe, I don't know, soft on the field. I don't know if, if that's true or not. I really no, don't know how he played at all. But it seems like for the whole time, it, it's not like anything that's out of the ordinary of them just talking on a regular basis. So they hung out a lot, it seems like. They went to the same parties or whatever. I don't, uh, you know, I don't know where it went from from that into bullying, but I I know from my own experience in sports. Like I remember one time I was probably like I don't know twelve or something, and I I called the kid. He was basically like the GM of our of our travel hockey team. Hold on, the guy. Just real quick, uh, more more Finn just sent me a text, and she said enough about this. We want to hear more about us. <laughs> and she, we're up on some TV somewhere. Nah, definitely don't want. To. Patty, what uh, Healy's what? maybe. I don't Maura, know. what do you want to talk about? He knocked the guy out as soon as he walked into the ring. More, if you want to talk about it, call in and talk call about in it right now. Give him the number. We can't, Numbers on the bottom of the screen. Can't guarantee that you'd be answered though, because this is pretty much one of our best segments. But, <laughs> um, you know, so basically, what, what I was getting to, you know, when I was younger, I called this kid. He's like the, you know, he. His dad ran the whole like hockey program. Wait, that so I hold on, before you start the story, are you the incognito of the I'm story? The incognito. Or the Martin? I'm the incognito. If you said Martin, uh, you, we couldn't have this radio show I've, anymore. I've been Martin well, plenty of, course, of times. Of you know, I think we all have. I mean, who? But who, who else would it be? Of course, he's <laughs> so basically, I, I called the kid. Wait, what you, you when Martin is Martin, <laughs> he's Martin. out. He's out, Walsh. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I called the kid a fat bump on a log, right? <laughs> so he, he gets out of the the locker room and he just starts wiling out, crying and shit like that. Oh, and, hold on. No, I, oh, I know totally no, my cab interview was on MSG. Nice. Patty yeah. just said that. No, yeah. Yeah. Uh, All right, I never saw it. Nobody right, cares. Ahead. Nobody cares. MSG. So basically. They they suspended me for like two games because I like broke the kid's heart, you know. And but believe me, plenty, Wait, plenty you, people you said far two worse. Games? Yeah. Oh man. And this Even is when we were like twelve years old. And what'd you say? I called him a fat bump on a log. That's not yeah, bad. That's, not that's bad. nothing. I could have called him a fat piece of shit. Was his dad Roger Goodell? No, his dad was like basically like the GM of the team. Ah, uh, yeah. So and he's, is he the one that suspended you? Yeah. Uh, so Call yeah, me up. And it was like the two most important games of the season, too. We got our ass kicked. I've never been so happy in my entire life. <laughs> that, <laughs> Show you to suspend that, me, bro. That's, that's unbelievable. A little, little inside, a little Alan yeah. Walsh. Alan inside Walsh sports, baseball from uh, Alan Walsh. Like, you get all kinds of shit in sports. You know, like I've played hockey for a long time. I mean, we've done oh. hel- helmets and gloves you know, where you- it's like a poor stick figure kid going up against the – you know, it, very well in shape guy that you know going to get their ass kicked, you know, but that's how you get toughened up, you know? For sure. 
I miss you. That's why it's called helmets and gloves, sure not fists and skulls. Everybody missed your stinky <laughs> armpit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm no, sure listen, I'm just uh, after reading all these text messages, incogn- I'm going to buy an incognito jersey because uh, he's unbelievable. He's awesome. He's he's uh, he's really a good football player, which well, I it think. It wasn't the Pro Bowl. I think, yeah. I think and Jonathan Martin even gives him a shout out for it. He says, oh, congrats on like making the Pro Bowl yeah, or something. Yeah, Jonathan yeah, Martin like, is or like, he's or, a little bit of a psycho. Or he checks in, like, make sure it has to be I don't want him protecting you know Mike what? Glennon. He, no, you know what? All right, here's the analogy. He's like. He's like a girl that you're dating and everything's cool and you have a cool relationship with and maybe you have a little rough sex or whatever, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and, then, and then she goes to the cops. Saying that you beat what do you mean? Oh. What do you mean, cops? That you're this, is, this is our relationship. That's Nonsense. true. I don't know Choked if that's probably the hard. best analogy. No, I think it's pretty accurate. It's like... Well, maybe you don't know about the rough sex. <laughs> no. No, I'm a basic bottom and top guy in doggy style. <laughs> Well, he's got the leather mask. The I don't. Yeah, I don't pull out all these. I don't pull out all these stops where I'm like choking somebody to death up against the wall, banging their brains out. That's not me. Have you ever? Have you ever um, rang a doorbell, been answered, and said, "I'm here for the okay. game"? <laughs> <laughs> Has uh, that ever? Happened? No. I def- well, man, maybe you can't understand. I definitely <laughs> want to do that to more people, though. I think that'd be hilarious. Obviously, Molly's been in- meeting some interesting girls on Tinder. <laughs> Black girls, all kinds of girls. Shoes and booze. Shade. Shade. Oh, she was full of shit with that, huh? I don't know. I looked it up. I couldn't find the domain, but hey, yeah. who knows? Maybe I spelled it wrong. Shoes and boots? They're, t- they're kind of tough to miss. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's some, some cool booze spelling that I don't know. I don't even know about. Maybe we need to use the Urban Dictionary. Um, all right, so are we done with the Martin Incognito? I think he's awesome. And I, I love some of the cons. <laughs> no, I was going to say, one of my favorite ones. Internet was- <laughs> gold, Jerry! <laughs> I slipped up. I slipped. No, uh, Incognito. Brilliant. I think a lot of the shit he said was funny. Yeah. Very funny. And he has text. Well, I think you were going to say the, the C U N T. Yeah, and he texted the C U N T. I think that's where text. Molly was going next. That's where I was going. Yeah. Four text hit. Yeah, I mean, that's 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 like probably um, one of the worst words out there you could, you could throw at a girl. Never no, mind one of your friends. A word is only powerful if you let it be powerful. Sticks and stones may break my bones. That's right. One uh, of my, my favorite things, because remember when it came out in the media? These are a few of my favorite oh, wait. things. Uh, is this more calling it? I don't know. I know this number. I know it this might number. be more. Let's see. You might not want to answer. Uh, oh, we got uh, two calls. Which one do we the go? The first one. Yeah, the first one. In order. Hey, welcome to the Forte Sports Show. Call who is this? Hello? Oh, hey, who is this? Is it oh! <laughs> yeah, buddy, what's going on? I recognize hey, this voice. Is this your girl, buddy? <laughs> Patrick Fowl, award winner, Patrick Fowl. Yeah, what's welcome. going on, Patty? What's going on, guys? Hey, so we want to wish you a congratulations on a fight. You knocked that kid out quickly. Uh, Thank you very much. I know I know you put a lot of hard work into it, so congratulations on that. Yeah, that yeah, no, was much well deserved. Much appreciated, boys. Yeah, you know, hey, listen, I hope they all end that way. First round knockout, just <laughs> like that. So, <laughs> it's I a lot easier that these. way. It's a lot easier that way. The less you're in danger, the quicker you're in, the quicker you're out, the fucking safer you are, right? There you go. Now, he, now, he, was, he, was, he came out throwing bombs. I don't know if yeah. you guys noticed, but but he came out throwing monster haymakers, and our our game plan was to sit on the inside and beat the shit out of him. <laughs> and uh, when he came out throwing bombs, I sat back, started boxing, and was like, oh, oh, oh those are some fucking big shots. You know? <laughs> yeah. You still I, partying I, we, from the victory or what? You sound like it. No, I mean, we're, no, no. We're, well, I'm, I'm hanging out at a friend's house. I'm actually about to go bowling. Oh, make, so, make so sure you take some stolen. pictures on IG for us all. <laughs> yeah, so we can no, follow I'm you. <laughs> on the IG. I just got one quick thing to talk about. Mr. Mohern, I have zero idea how the fuck you wound up on my television on <laughs> Saturday afternoon. What? Well, I'm sitting, I'm watching MSG. And I see you in a cab being interviewed by two gentlemen. Yeah, I don't Scott, know who they were. Scott Fajita, uh, NFL Super Bowl winner for the New Orleans Saints, and Tim Ryan, uh, former USC uh, offensive lineman. Because it was, I, I, I was, I was standing at a bar, watch. I was actually down in Black Bear in Hoboken. Nice. With a, with a bunch of my, with a bunch of you know, uh, my family and friends celebrating Moore's brother, what have you. Nice. And I, I'm, I see your face pop up on the <laughs> fucking screen. And I'm going, 
Holy <laughs> shit. Yeah, so how did that happen? What, 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 that was wasn't bullshitting about the, uh, yeah. So, so what happened was, um, myself, uh, Marky Lee, and Eric Dahlheim went to Super Bowl Boulevard. Long story short, uh, a girl walked up to her. She's like, "You want to be on TV?" I was like. I almost do this for a living, of course. No problem. <laughs> I almost. <laughs> so uh, the the premise of the I'm show on was radio. Don't worry they, about it. They want to find the next Fox Sports analyst. Boy, so, did they! So they so they throw me in a cab, and Fajita and Tim Ryan come in, and they start asking me all these football questions. You know, who will win the Super Bowl? Blah blah blah. And you know, I had to break it down to the 14A style. You know what I mean, Patty? I like it. I like you. You're a businessman at, at all ends of the word. I'm not a businessman. I'm a business. <laughs> <laughs> Berno I Enterprises. Like we gotta, man, we gotta get this video. A man that's there from my own heart. Boys, enjoy yourselves. Continue the show. Just wanted to talk about your that that little uh, that little blurb there from my uh, my good friend. Matty Moe, a.k.a. The Vern. The Vern. I don't know why you guys don't call him The Vern. You guys got to talk about that. Yeah, I was going to ask that, actually. Every day uh, Patty, appreciate the call, buddy. Be good. Hey, well, thanks, enjoy man. yourselves. I'll talk to you soon. All right, later. Congrats again, man. Patty Boy Farrell, the... So it, so it did air. Yeah, that's yeah, great. Yeah, I gotta get, I gotta get my hands on that tape. Oh, he's saying MSG, but you said Fox Sports One. So yeah, they knows? said Fox Sports One. He, yeah, maybe he had the child confused. Maybe you weren't good enough for Fox One. You were just <laughs> maybe you weren't good enough for anywhere. What channel are <laughs> oh. you on? NBC, brother. You're not even getting. I was on NBC. You. Where's Francis? No, Francis, you gave you the rejection letter. <laughs> I was on. You got turned down from Fred's. I was you. on NBC before. I was on late night talk show. I mean, you don't get higher than that. You're right. You're the best. But anyway, yeah. Now get back in your cab. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, no, we go gotta get, get your shine box. <laughs> <laughs> go go get your shine box and get back on MSG. Uh, Can we funny. get the Vern story? Is that is that the Vern? Yeah, when, the, I don't know from the cab. No, the Vern. Why they call you why Vern? Vern? The Vern is just the Vern and. Sometimes you gotta let Vern be Vern. Uh, All right. What a modest Vern's like your alter ego. How many roads must a man walk down <laughs> before you can call him the Vern? <laughs> well, now that he's singing, that means we gotta go to commercial break. All right. Oh, when we get Hold back, on. tease. Oh yes, the that's Coles, right. it. The Coles News Network. She has a big tease. As you remember uh, from last week's Coles News Network, uh, we asked if Coles could get uh, a Mary Fuck Kill done with all three of us on the panel. Well, God damn it, Coles delivered! <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna have those results when we get back. Fifteen minutes. 